Hi everybody, my name is Eternity Farrell with Drimmer. We're coming at you today with a 30 minute strength training full body workout. I'm gonna be using two sets of dumbbells, a light set for five pounds and a heavier set at eight. I encourage you to use whatever weights feel comfortable for you. Today's workout is gonna be broken down into three supersets, a warm up, and then a cool down. The supersets gonna have two exercises. We're gonna progress them as we go. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right into our warm up. We're gonna start with a 30 second jog in place in three, two, one, let's go. So, just jogging in place, nothing crazy, getting our body kind of warm with a little bit of cardio, getting the blood flow to our muscles, getting it ready to move. Nice work, you guys. Just in place, keep it up. Halfway for 15 seconds. And as you're doing this, think about engaging that core. Think about pulling that belly button into your spine and getting it working for us. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna go into what's called straight leg marches. You're gonna kick it out, hand to toe. We have 12 in three, two, one, let's go. So this is a dynamic stretch for our hips, hamstrings, really for our whole leg. Good, give me six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, we're gonna go reverse lunge into a knee hug, eight on the right, eight on the left. Let's do this. So you're down, stretch it out. One and two, good. Three, beautiful. Four, five, pull it in. This is also a lot of stability. Good, two more. Seven, last one on this side. And eight, great job, shake it up. Let's go ahead and hit that left side in three, two, one. Here we go. Reverse, bring it in. Woo, stable. Two, three, four, nice. Halfway, five, six, two more. Seven, last one, and eight. From here, we're gonna go into nice wide shoulder circles, eight forward, eight back. Here we go. Good, one, three, four, nice, big circles. Six, seven, eight, reversing it. One, two, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're gonna go now into a bodyweight air squat into a pool. So you're gonna come down, squeeze it back for 12 and three, two, one. Here we go. One, two. And as you squeeze those arms back, think about pulling as if you're doing a row. So we're gonna get those lats, those rhomboids, everything to work for us. Five, nice. Halfway, six. Eight. Nine, three more. 10, last two, and one. Good, and we're gonna go for another 30 seconds of our jog in place in three, two, one. Here we go. So this is where we're gonna end our warm up. After this 30 seconds, we're gonna go into our first strength superset. It's gonna be one lower body movement and one upper body movement. Back to back, progressed as we go. All right guys, 10 seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Warm up is complete. So now we're gonna start with our first strain circuit, which is gonna be a goblet squat. So I'm gonna grab one of my heavy dumbbells for this. With our goblet hold, we're gonna hold it at that chest. It's resting on our chest, and we're gonna let the weight just kind of take us down. We got 12 right here. In three, two, one, here we go. Good. And the goal of these squats is to try to get those thighs parallel to the ground. Good, nice. We're keeping our hips pushed back, chest upright. Weight is pressing up through our heels to stand tall and squeeze that booty. That's five, nice. Six, we're halfway. Seven. Eight. Good, three more. Two, yes, last 
last one. And done, great job. Up next, we're gonna go into a reverse fly. I'm gonna grab my eights for this. This is gonna be a back movement. So you're gonna hinge those hips. You're gonna start both weights down. You're gonna squeeze it and then release it. We have 12 and three, two, one. There we go. Two, nice. Three, keep that core tight. Five, halfway, six, seven, eight, nine, last two, and rest. Good job, you guys. Go ahead and shake it out. We're gonna go back to our first exercise with a squat. This time around, we're gonna go front squat. So we're gonna grab both our dumbbells, rest them on the shoulders, and we're gonna go into a set of 12 from here. All right, you guys ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Nice, one, two, keeping those elbows up. Three, nice, four, exhale, press through the heels, five, halfway, six, seven, eight, last four, good. Last two, and one more. Done. Beautiful work, you guys. Shake it out, take a deep breath. We're gonna go back to our reverse fly, but we're gonna add a bench over row. So the fly to row, fly, row, one to one for 10. All right, you guys, here we go in three, two, one. Let's hit it. So fly, row, one. Two, keep that hinge. So you have space to pull for three, four, five, nice. Six, four more. Seven, eight, nine, last one. And 10, good job. All right, you guys, so we made it to the final part the third round of this circuit. We're gonna go now into a goblet hold, but you can use both if you choose. We're gonna go squat to jump squat. One to one for a set of 10. All right, you guys, here we go. Three, two, one, let's knock it out. So squat and jump squat. That's one and jump squat, two. Down and three, good. Four, five, halfway, six, good. Make sure to breathe. Seven, three more. Eight, final two. Nine, last one. 10, whew, that burns, I know it. All right, you guys, grab both your dumbbells. We're gonna now hit that last reverse fly to row, adding this time now a bicep curl. So three parts for 10 reps. Okay, get ready. Go ahead and hinge those hips back. Three, two, one, here we go. So hit a fly, hit a row, bring a tall hammer curl. Let's do it. Two, and curl it. Hinged, fly, Row, three, nice. Four. Five, halfway. Row, and six. You got this, guys. Keep it up. Don't stop now. Seven, three more, that's it. Fly it, row it, curl, last two. You got this. Focus on that form, focus on that core, hit that row, up to curl, last one. Make a count, fly, row, and curl. And go ahead and put your weights down for a moment to shake it out. Nice job, circuit, our superset number one, done. 
Okay, now we're gonna go into our second superset. We're gonna start with reverse lunges. We can use both of our weights or a single weight. I'm gonna go single weight, but I encourage you to push yourself to whatever feels comfortable. So, we're gonna go strict reverse lunges. We're gonna go 12 on the right. And since I'm stepping back on my right side, my right hand is gonna hold that weight. Then we're switching to the left. 12, 12, and three, two, one. Let's do it. So you're hitting that reverse lunge. I'm gonna right back up. My other hand, it can be wherever it feels comfortable. It can be on your hip, it can be up to the side. I personally like my hand to the side for stability. That's five, nice. Six halfway. Seven, nice. Eight. Nine, three more. 10, last two. 11, and 12, beautiful. All right, quick breath. Switching that weight, switching those legs. Three, two, one, let's hit it. One, two, good job. Three, good. Keep it up. Five, I know it burns. Worth it though. Six, halfway. Seven, you got this. Eight, final four. Nine, nice. Last two, almost there, last one. And done, great job. Next up, we're gonna hit a shoulder movement. So, I'm gonna grab my eights. We're gonna go just into a standard shoulder press. So, up overhead, back down, keeping space between the neck and the ear. All right, we have 12 presses in three, two, one, here we go. One, exhale as you press. Two, pull that core tight. Three, four, nice. Five, six, seven, five more. Eight, nice. Nine, three more. Final two, last one. And release it. Nice job, you guys. Shake it out, we're gonna go back to our reverse lunges. This time around, we're gonna alternate right to left for a set of 20. So 10 on the right, 10 on the left, but we're alternating one to one. I'm gonna hold one of my eights in a goblet hold, but again, use whatever weight feels good for you. All right, you guys, here we go. In three, two, one, let's hit it. Just alternating between the right and the left. Two, good. Four core, find that balance. Six. Eight. Nice. We are halfway. Final 10. Good. 12. I know it burns. I'm right there with you. 14. You got this. Don't stop. You got this. Good, four more. Here we go, that's 18. 19 and 20. That's it, great job you guys. We're back to our shoulders. We are now hitting a set of Arnold presses. So we're starting here, opening it up and then pulling it right back in for 12. And three, two, here we go. Let's go. One, open it up and pull it center. Two. Three, good. Four, shoulders are working for us. Five, very good. Halfway, six, seven, five more. Embrace it, embrace the burn. Nine, final three, 10, last two, 11, and 12. Fantastic, all right, go ahead and put those weights down for just a moment. Shake it out, roll those shoulders out a second, get a sip of water, towel down. Final round of this superset. We're going back to our reverse lunges. We're gonna hit a squat in between them. So it's gonna hit a squat, right side, squat, left side, for a total of 10 squats. All right, I'm gonna hold one of my eights in that goblet, and we're gonna hit it in. Three, two, one, let's start the squat. Here we go. And reverse lunge. We'll call this one. Nice. 
two. Very good. Three, nice. Four, keep it up. Five, we're halfway, chest up. Tight core. Six, nice. Seven, three more, don't stop now. This is it. Last two, find that balance. Last one, and hit that low. Whew. Nice, done with those. Okay, take a quick second to catch your breath. Deep breath, exhale, let it go. One more. All right, ready for this next and last part of the superset, shoulders. We're gonna go some windmill presses. So, as one comes up, that one's gonna come up as it comes down. So it's a seesaw effect. All right, we're gonna go 10 and 10, and three, two, let's finish it out strong, you guys, here we go. And press it, one, two, three, yes, four, five, six, four more, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful work, guys. All right, so the last superset is gonna be down on our mat, so meet me there. All right, you guys, now that we're down on our mat, we're gonna go ahead and go into our core series. We're gonna start with plank shoulder taps, and these are gonna all be for time. So we're gonna start with a plank shoulder taps for 30 seconds. So go ahead and meet me in that plank. All right, you guys, here we go. 30 seconds on the clock in three, two, one, full plank. Tight core, we're squeezing the glutes, we're staying stable, minimal rocking and shifting in those hips. You're just gonna go ahead and gently tap your opposing shoulder. Controlled movement the whole time. Halfway, you guys, 15 seconds. We're breathing less than 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. All right, so from here, we're gonna come onto our back now. We're gonna go for, again, 30 seconds of a controlled bicycle. So, here, 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 here. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Beautiful. So, we're not gonna go crazy hyper speed here. We're gonna keep it slow, deliberate, controlled. Halfway, 15 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release. Whew. All right, go ahead and give your abs a little bit of love. We're gonna come back over and around to our plank. This time, we're gonna go shoulder tap, shoulder tap, knee tap, knee tap. 30 seconds again, as many reps as you can fit in that 30 seconds. Controlled. All right, so meet me in that plank in three, two, one. Here we go. So shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. So when you add that knee, it's gonna make it much more challenging to stay stable, but you got this. Nice. Halfway, 15 seconds. Good. Less than 10, give me two more rounds. Last one. Shoulder, shoulder and knee, knee and drop it down. Very nice, very good you guys. So we're going back onto our back. This time we're gonna go into a three part crunch. So while on your back, hands together, you're gonna crunch outside your legs, in between, other side, Back in between, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. In three, two, one, let's rock and roll. I like to exhale with every crunch. Getting oxygen to our muscles as they work for us. Nice work, you guys. Halfway, 15 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, good. Five, four, three, two, and time. Great job, you guys. 
All right. Give yourself a quick moment, stretch out that core. We have two more movements. So we're back to our plank. We're gonna add a toe tap now. So it's shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee, toe, toe. This is a really challenging one for stability. So if you need to regress it down to just shoulder taps or knee taps, do what it feels good to you, but 30 seconds on the clock. Meet me in that plank. We are going in three, two, one. Here we go. Now, toe and toe, that's one. If we can get five full rounds, I think that's a win. Three. Good, we are halfway. 15 seconds, give me three more rounds. Good, last two. Keeping it tight. Let's go one more, you got this guys. And bring it down. Very good. Okay, back onto our back. One last time. We are now going to be doing heel taps. So we're going to reach, 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 reach for 30 seconds in three, two, one. Time is on. Let's go. Nice. These are obliques now. So side to side, you're going to feel it firing up the sides. As always, breathe, get the oxygen to your blood, get the oxygen to those muscles. Less than halfway. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. We're getting full activation, three, two, and one. And release it. All right, you guys, very nice job. From here, let's go ahead Bring one out leg out straight, one leg in center. Let's go ahead and reach overhead toward our toe. As you come into this reach, think about stretching through those lats as well as the hip flexor and the hamstring. So a nice strong reach as you inhale and exhale. Now think to nose to knee as we come more focused on those hamstrings. You're gonna feel a nice stretch all the way up your back. And now we're gonna switch. So from here, reach for that toe, reach the other arm up overhead, getting a stretch all the way down your back as you breathe and release. Nice. Very good. Very nice. So from here, let's go ahead and come into a butterfly stretch. As we sit into this butterfly stretch, go ahead and pull the arm across. Deep breath right here. And other side. Beautiful. Come into that cross and behind the back, both sides. Good. Now I want you to go ahead, come into tall kneel. Let's go ahead and grab our hands behind our back, flip our palms down, and we're gonna stretch open that chest. Deep breath. Yes, good. Lean into a forward lunge, open up those hips. Deep breath right here. Push it back. Hamstring, deep breath. Same thing, other side, right foot's gonna come up. You're gonna sink into that hip flexor stretch. Hold it for a beat, and now we're pushing it back, focusing on those hamstrings. Nice. Let's go ahead, take your right hand to the small of your back, left hand's gonna grab the top of that head. You're gonna pull so gently, feel that neck and upper trap, get a nice long stretch. Good, I love this one. All right, let's go ahead and switch it. And pull gently so you can get a nice stretch. Now it's gonna be a few circles. And switch directions. Good. A couple shoulder rolls, forward and back. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this 30 minute strength workout. Hope you feel great and accomplished because you did it and have a wonderful day. See you next time.